Yo, what is going on, everybody? I am your host, Slack is Gaming, bringing you the next matchup in the Fighter Pass tournament. So today's going to be a good one. So if you're new, and there's uh, there's just a few rules I need you to kind of follow. So more than welcome to participate. And how do you participate? Well, it's a tournament where we vote for who we'd rather see as a DLC character in Smash Ultimate. Uh, and then, you know, between the two characters for today's matchup. And the two characters today are Agumon from the Digimon series, taking on Master Chief. Uh, sadly, it was kind of deconfirmed recently, but I'll talk about that in a bit. So the way to vote is down in the comments by simply typing either Agumon or Master Chief. Or if you absolutely love both, you can vote for both. So uh, vote down in the comments, one vote per person. This is a double elimination tournament, meaning you have to lose twice before you are officially eliminated. So... You lose, you drop to the loser bracket, and if you lose from there, you're done. Simple. If there's ever a tie in the voting, I'll flip a coin on camera. We'll break the tie that way. Pretty simple. So, with that out of the way, uh, these voting things only stay open for one week. So, um, just it helps keep the tournament moving. So, we got to go over the results from last Monday, which was, uh, who was it again? G oh, yeah. Everyone's super favorite matchup that we've had so far in the tournament. <laughs> Geolite from the Meteo series taking on Jonesy, for, you know, Fortnite default guy uh, from Fortnite. And there's a lot of, you know, dislike toward, a lot of hate. I can't say hate. No, there's just a lot of people that d would dislike any sort of Fortnite content in Smash. And that was evident in the voting because here we go right here. Ge Geolite from the Meteo series wins 37 votes to 11. So Fortnite's done from the tournament. Not a lot of people want Fortnite, and I don't blame them. I can't blame them. But, again, that still doesn't mean Fortnite doesn't have a chance. But uh, Geolite gets to move on and will face somebody else eventually at some point. Pretty much. Pretty simple, right? So we got to go over the results. Or, pff, results. we got to go over the matchup for today. Like I said, the aforementioned Agumon from the Digimon series taking on Master Chief. And this is a good one. So I've got to give a quick shout out to Agumon for Smash on Twitter who hit me up a few weeks ago when we had Agumon's first matchup. Let me know a few more details and just to try to make a better case for Agumon. So Agumon for Smash, appreciate you. Uh, I don't know if you're going to see this video again, but hey. Appreciate it, and um, let, let me jump into it. So, we're going to start with Digimon, right? Or, <laughs> Digimon. We're going to start with Agumon. So, a few things I want to go over with Agumon. Um, he, he made some pretty good points here. So, first up, some people think that uh, Digimon in general are anime. Uh, well, it turns out that they're actually not. They started as a, what was it, a Tamagotchi in 1997, a uh, virtual pet with battles. That's pretty much a game. And... Um, in 1998 and 1999 they got new games before the anime started so i mean they originated in a video game technically a tamagotchi that is a game so they originated from there which is cool some people like to think uh, and bring up the point that oh they're not you know they didn't start as a video game character they're out because i think sakurai said something like anime characters will never get in but something like that i think um but agumon digimon they started as a virtual pet, or not a virtual pet, but like, uh, yeah, well, virtual pet, Tamagotchi kind of thing. So, um, good on you for that. Thank you for bringing that to my attention. I guess um, Sakurai, the creator of Smash Bros, actually created a Tamagotchi in 2005 based on the Bandai Tamagotchi with battles. You know, the Digimon ones, like we keep saying. Sorry. Um, let's see. Uh, the game is called Mushi King. I think that's how you say it. M-U-S-H-I-K-I-N-G. You can find it on IGN, so that's pretty cool. Um, and, uh, the cool thing is Digimon actually do have a new game. Come on, go to the next one. Go to the next one. There we go. Digimon do have a new game coming out in 2019, and it is on the Nintendo Switch. And one thing, I just looked this up, there's no confirmation of a concrete release date. So why, why is that important? Well, this is the first, you know, big Digimon game on a Nintendo console in... What, quite some time since, what, the GameCube? Digimon World 4, if I believe. I still have that game in my living room. It's, uh, me and my friends played that all the time. We loved it. it. It wasn't maybe, you know, a true fan favorite of Digimon games, but we had fun with it. We loved it. But, um, so, um, the game for Digimon that is coming out in 2019 is called Digimon Survive. And, uh, no launch date, like I said. Um, I mean, D Digimon is a franchise as well. Is a big franchise. It's not like something that's just kind of like, oh yeah, we kind of have it. Apparently, and if these facts are correct, I didn't check them, so if they're wrong, I apologize. But 
just given what I was told here, Digimon is actually the third biggest franchise that Bandai has today, only behind Pac-Man and Tamagotchis, apparently, so that's pretty interesting, right? Um, let's see, Digimon is a part of Tamagotchi as well, so technically it's kind of the second or third biggest franchise, if you want to say it that way. And uh, let's see, what else do, do we have here? Um, let's go with, um, I guess there's a, what, an Eevee Tamagotchi? Is that coming out? Uh, it's a Tamagotchi made by Bandai and Game Freak. You know, the Pokemon creator company thing. So that's a bit interesting. And I guess um, it, it's a cool point. Because that's literally the closest that we've ever had to a Digimon and Pokemon sort of crossover. And with Smash Bros, if Agumon were to get in, which would be awesome, we could finally have that, that actual Pokemon versus uh, Digimon kind of aspect. That would be so amazing. I would love to see that finally. Love to see that. But... Um, uh, I guess Digimon also have two new Tamagotchis launching in 2019 as well. That's pretty cool. Um, and I guess it kind of goes on to say, and this is kind of speculation, you know, like I was saying a bit earlier, why now? You know, the game's coming out, Digimon Survive's coming out in 2019, no concrete release date. So maybe, it, again, Nintendo picked the DLC, you know, a while ago. They know who picked, uh, they know who's in. Plus, Bandai works on Smash Bros. after all. And there's a good chance Nintendo is going to be like, Bandai, we, you know, again, thank you for helping us work on the game after all. Um, let's, I, we'd love to give you a DLC character in Smash Ultimate. That's, it's very well possible. And Digimon is one of their bigger franchises. Uh, I mean, you can make a case for other franchises they own as well, but Digimon's definitely up there. They, they know it. It originated from a game, Tamagotchis. So this is all pretty cool stuff. I think Digimon is kind of being underlooked in a way and, um, kind of, I think he made some points here earlier. I don't remember where. I'm not going to scroll through all that, but there's something like with the, the, the Brave moniker going around for the DLC character slot. Um, there's something to do with Agumon and Brave. I think, um, one of Digi Agumon's Digimon line attacks have something to do with Brave, so there's some sort of tie-in with that possibly, but I, I just think Digimon is a potential series that is being very underlooked and has a decent chance again so my opinions but let's move on to master chief another character that i would absolutely love to see but again like i said at the beginning uh is kind of deconfirmed and that was kind of sad and besides if microsoft were to get a rep in smash bros you have to face it the front runners probably steve from minecraft uh banjo kazooie's definitely got to be up there I could say Master Chief is probably third, honestly, but let's face it, I think, I just think either Steve or Banjo would happen before Master Chief. After all, Master Chief is the Mario of, uh, I was going to say Minecraft, he is the, um, he's the Mario of Microsoft. That is their big guy, that is their, their franchise, that is their, you know, their one character that they build off of, you know, that they're building franchises. And Halo is such a huge franchise for them. It's sold over like a billion dollars, I think over like two or three billion dollars worth of, you know, games and all that kind of stuff. Plus, he's a huge character. Um, and when you think about it, Pipe, Pipe Dream, you know, fantasy characters, Master Chief would be amazing, first of all. So, uh, kind of going back to the point where he said he was kind of deconfirmed. Well, hold up. I mean, you can't outright be like, yeah, Master Chief's in Smash. That's going to break any, um, you know, agreements that you signed. You know, what, what are they called? I don't remember what they're called. But you, you're not going to outright say he's in Smash, first of all. But again, um, what is it? NDAs? I'm pretty sure that's what... Non-disclosure agreements. Uh, you're, you're not... Also, I guess you wouldn't really say you no, know he's in Smash, and you can't really say he is. But to be fair... Maybe it was a deal that was, okay, this one may be being a stretch here. It could have been a deal between Phil Spencer and uh, Nintendo on this one to get Master Chief, if it were to happen. It could, you know, be a secret deal. And then once um, uh, it gets closer for the Master Chief release date, again, if you were to happen, then maybe Phil would in, uh, inform, you know, 343 Studios and all the people involved with Halo and the big people over there. He would inform them then, hey, I actually struck a deal. We got Master Chief involved. They're working on the, you know, the, the character model and moveset and all that stuff. We want you guys to come over, you know, people from 343, check out the character, make sure you guys are happy with it. Because that is one thing Sakurai does for third-party characters. Actually, first-party characters, all characters in general. He makes sure that whoever 
created and whoever's behind those characters he wants to make sure that they are happy with how they work so again it could be kept secret there could be maybe just a handful of people that do know this exists it's a possibility it is so I'm, i want to throw that out there but i think i got to move on to the voting here both these characters i would love but i to me for some reason it's just in my head right now that master chief is deconfirmed and I, I hate thinking that because I really would love to see Chief in Smash. I would. But because, I don't know, I just can't think around that right now. And it's just ingrained in my head. It's like, no, nah, Master Chief's day confirmed. Not going to happen. I'm going to vote Agumon in this one. I might be a little, you know, alone on this side. But, hey, just because Master Chief might be deconfirmed doesn't mean you can't vote for him. If you want Chief, vote for Chief in the comments. You want Agumon, vote Agumon down in the comments. If you want both. Vote both down in the comments. Pretty simple. All right, that is going to be it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed as usual. Actually, before we wrap it up, got to show you sneak peek for tomorrow's episode. Zoom, zoom out. Zoom out. There. Okay, too far. All right, so sneak peek for tomorrow's episode is Ryu Hayabusa from the Ninja Gaiden slash Kind of Deader Live series taking on Mike Jones from Star Tropics, a Nintendo game that actually doesn't have a spirit in Smash Bros., that's a little crazy, a little crazy, but um, that's the matchup. And then the results we will get for Spyro and Yoshimitsu, but that's tomorrow. Today, you either vote for Master Chief or Agumon, one or the other, or both, down in the comments. Anyway, that will wrap up this episode. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. I look forward to the voting, as always, and hopefully we catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.